Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson in our music theory course will be augmented chords. So our lesson objectives will be an explanation of an augmented chord. We will explore the intervals within the augmented chord. And we're going to listen to examples of augmented chords versus major chords and try to really hear the difference between the two. Augmented chords are relatively rare. We won't be using them a lot um, in theory, but it's just good that you really have an idea of what they're made of and how they sound. For this part of our course, I'm only dealing with fifth, with chords, um, with fifths. We'll do seventh chords in another installment, but there are augmented seventh chords. Um, we'll deal with that a little bit later. So. An augmented chord is different than a major chord, but the first part of the augmented chord is the same as a major chord. The very first part of it is a major third. So from C to E, as you remember, this is a major third. This chord sounds major. And as you remember, there are one, two, three, four, five half steps, starting from the C between the first and the third note of a major third. Okay, so a major chord, you would add your fifth, right? And let's look at the keyboard so you can see what I'm playing. So from the, fr again, one, two, three, four, five. Five half steps from C to E, major third. From E to G, this on top, one, two, three, four. This is a major chord, four half steps from the first to the fifth. The augmented chord is made of two major thirds. So we take the fifth and we go up a half step. Major third thirds together. Let's count the intervals again. One, two, three, four, five between the first and the third note, and then one, two, three, four, five between the third and the fifth note. So when you listen to this, you really, our ears really want this G sharp A flat to come down. If you're using this in songwriting and you want to make a point, you can play this chord and then put a really important word on the, when it resolves to the G. So it sounds like it's sort of hanging. You want it to resolve to a note. So let's write this out. There it is. And here's the C, E, G sharp. There is an augment C augmented chord. Let's write it out in bass clef. C, E, G sharp. The way we label this is C plus. D augmented chord. Okay, so let's count our half steps. We'll start on a D. We'll start in the bass clef. So from the D, hmm, D to a third, a major third above D, we count five half steps. D one, D sharp two, E three, F natural four, F sharp five. Okay, F sharp is our next note in the D augmented chord. The major third. This is a major third. So we need another major third on top of this major third to create the augmented chord. Starting from the F sharp, one, G two, G sharp three, A four, A sharp five. So we have, here's our augment, D augmented chord. So D, F sharp, A sharp. Let's look at that on our keyboard and listen. So here's D. major chord, but we need an augmented chord. So from the third, we're going to count up a, ma a major third. So that's five half steps. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the augmented chord. It's not very satisfying to end on that. You really, really feel like your ear wants it to resolve down. So moving on.